Good morning, this is Pastor Blake. Thanks for joining me. We're continuing through our study of the Psalms. Today we should be looking at Psalm 65, 66, 67, 68 in our uh, readings. Uh, what I want to do is I want to look at a portion of Psalm 66 and I actually want to go back to something in Psalm 65. By the way, these Psalms are not necessarily put together in chronological order. Uh, the 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 people of God put the Psalms together and sometimes they very clearly are in patterns. They're very clearly lumped together with certain themes. I think this is one of those cases. So here's what I want you to notice. The theme here today that I want to zero in on is the need for us to confess our sin as we come to the Lord in prayer. Many of us are praying because it's 40 days of prayer and fasting as a church. Many of us are praying because of the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, we are praying more and more. Uh, but I want to just take a moment to see what this psalm teaches us about making sure that we come to the Lord with a clean slate. We confess our sin to the Lord. So Psalm 66 at verse 18 says, If I had cherished sin in my heart. By the way, this word cherished is the word meaning uh, if I had looked at sin on my heart, but then didn't do anything about it. So if I had harbored sin or looked at sin, but didn't do anything about it, the Lord would not have listened. But God has surely listened and has heard my prayer. And so he's saying that if I had sin in my heart and we all come with things we've done or failed to do, things we said or things we failed to say, we need to keep a short account with God. Back in Psalm 65, verses 2 and 3, the psalmist is saying, You who answered prayer, when we were overwhelmed with sins, you forgave our transgressions. And so this is what I want to say to you this morning. As you come to a time of prayer, would you take a moment to just see if there's any sin in your life that you have seen, that's what the word literally means, that you've seen it, you know it's there, but you just haven't dealt with it. You haven't confessed it, you haven't made it right in some way. Have you confessed it to the Lord, repented of it? Because the Lord wants to hear your prayer, but the very first prayer he wants to hear is the one where you ask for forgiveness. He's ready to forgive. Let me pray for us. Lord Jesus, thank you that you died on the cross for each and every one of our sins. Lord, we know that uh, you are ready to forgive. And all the more so in this day and age, post Good Friday, where our sins have been paid for. And Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone who is reading the Psalms today, who's listening to this podcast, that we would do an inventory and ask you to reveal if there's any sin that we see and maybe we've been afraid to deal with, afraid to confess, fail, afraid to repent of. Give us that ability to do that, the faith to do that, and to receive your forgiveness that our prayers for others and for ourselves will not be hindered. In the name of Jesus, I pray it. Amen.